Today, one simple truth about prayer that will bring greater freedom to your prayer life. Hi, I'm Jeremy, and welcome to Refresh, where I love to produce content that will refresh your spirit, refresh your mind, and refresh your vision. We are coming to the end of our series on prayer, and to finish it off, I have something special for you. I spent some time talking with Mike Betts. Now, Mike is the leader of Relational Mission Group of Churches centered in the UK, but most importantly, he is my friend. And over the last six years, he has embarked on a mission that has sparked a prayer movement that has traveled beyond their own church stream and around the world. There was so much to talk about in our conversation that I couldn't contain it in one video. So over the next two weeks, we are releasing a six-part mini-series that I know you are going to love. Today's part one, and in this video, Mike shares one simple truth that I know will bring greater freedom to your prayer life. I've always viewed knowing the Lord as, as a relationship, um, which it is. But to me, it's the same as there are special relationships in your life with other human beings, so like with your, your children or with your spouse or with dear friends. And as in any relationship, it's not a it's not a duty to speak to them. It's not a it's not an onerous task. It, it it's the natural outworking of a heart connection. So, in my Christian life, I've always felt fascinated by God, and I've always felt the reality of the relationship with God. I wouldn't say I'm a mag a magnificent prayer, uh, but I. I enjoy his company, and I know he enjoys mine. Hmm. So to me, it's natural then to talk about everything with someone who you know dearly loves you, and who you dearly love back. It's a natural thing to do. So I'm, uh, it, it's as, as simple as that, and it's a very, very simple thing. But I think sometimes when we say prayer, it can almost conjure up a sort of an activity that you're doing that's separate from a relationship. But to me, it's like saying, well, it's like having a like talking to, to you now. It's the outflow of the connection. So many times we try to overcomplicate prayer. If we can grasp this simple truth that this is a relationship and prayer is a conversation, not an activity, it will change the way we pray. And speaking of relationship, I have a great question for you. It's one of my favorite ones to ask people. When did Jesus become more than a word for you? I'd love to hear your answers in the comment below. And if you don't want to miss the next video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you get the notifications. Well, that's all for today. Until next time, keep looking upwards, keep moving onwards, and I will see you in the next video.